It's the halfway point of the competition, round seven between the fourth place, Victorian Bush Rangers at home against number two on the table, the Tasmanian Tigers. A little chance of rain here on this opening day of this four day first class matchup. Let's get down to the action. We were all ready to go for the start of play on day one. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Don Bradman Cricket and the Nathan Nichols career mode where we're back to the white clothing back to the grind of first class cricket. The Bush Rangers have won the toss and they have chosen to bat first. They have Rob Quinney coming out alongside Aaron Finch in the opening positions. So it will be the uh, Tasmanian side who will open the bowling now with the Bush Rangers looking to set a big first innings total in this round seven fixture. There is nine points between these two sides on the table. So a good chance to pull up some points and we have the first ball about to commence here. It will be Quinney on strike and burn into bowl. And it's driven straight down and look at where Nichols is actually fielding. Let's see how soon he gets into the action. 18 overs complete to the match and Xavier Doherty is destroying the Bush Rangers at the moment. He has both the two wickets to fall. And now we have Nathan Nichols accompanying him at the other end to bowl his first. So Doherty, he's been the one to take the wickets as we have the first delivery from Nichols. Finch is still there and Cameron White has not long joined him as he sweeps and a very straight one as well. They go through mid-wicket and they take a single. And another one to the total, 73 up on the board. And this proves already from what we've seen from Doherty that this is a good wicket for the spinners. Can they put something together here, the two of them? As another on drive, finds straight to mid on, who pulls it in and no run is taken. Nathan Nichols, and for his fourth ball of the over, comes in, bowls wider one, and he slashes outside off and pushes it straight through to extra cover. No run taken again. Nichols, looking to inflict another wicket, will be his real objective here. He comes in and oh, that's a aggressive throw at the stumps. Wow. Finch is a man at the moment. He's on 37 off 57. As Nichols, oh, pulls one short. And it slides through between Ben Pad and no run taken. A good over to open up Nichols' account. And we'll hopefully be seeing him in the wickets very soon alongside Doherty. Nichols returns to start the 21st over. It's 81 for two. Quite a few runs coming off that last over, the 20th. And now Nichols has to come back and do a bit of damage control. Side taking eight runs through that over. Finch has moved on to 43. As in comes Nichols and all oh, driving is Finch. And Nichols pulls it in and has followed through. Good carrying on from his bowling line there. No run for Finch. And then comes Nichols again. Shorter one and back foot. High on the bat. Defending that straight back into the pitch. Nichols again. Fourth ball. No run so far. Sweeping. Gets it on the full. Through square leg it goes. They'll take a single. And Finch is off and running for this over. He gets his first run and he'll give strike to White. Who will look to add to his run of all 13. Nichols in. Shorter one. Steps back and plants it down the pitch. Nichols fields in his five through once again. And he's getting a hard man to put away. Just one run off this over again. One ball to go. In comes. And leg side is she on drives. And he's fielded and picked up. Just the one run off that over again. Nichols hard to put away as we've seen all season. No matter the format, he is a very difficult bowler in the right circumstances. Jackson Byrne has come in to accompany Nathan Nichols at the bowling crease, but he went unsuccessful. Just the one run off his over is a good drive. Down it goes, running around from mid on and one run taken. Fielder very slow to get off the mark and around the corner there as Finch takes another run. He's through to 46 now. As leg side shot, flicked off the pads. Quickly running in and throwing at the stumps, but a run easily taken there. No wickets so far since we've seen Nichols come on. There's another on drive. But this one finds a fielder without moving too far. Two runs off this over from Nichols already. 
Finch is the mainstay. He's on strike now and he's hitting down the pitch and another straight to the bowler who carries on in his follow through once again and pulls that one in. Four balls gone. Two off it. Now he pulls one short. He clashes it into the covers. This is a chance. Run out. Oh, too slow. Couldn't get the direct hits. And that was what was the killer. Three off the over. Direct hit. He was gone. Now he nudges out into the offside. And no run taken. The over comes to a close. What an excitement that ball was. But other than that, Nichols is keeping his bowling very tidy so far in the match. Three overs for five runs is the bowling figures of Nathan Nichols so far. He comes in again. Shorter one there, steps back and drags it round the corner and through it goes mid-wicket again. Another single taken. So Nichols not having the desired effect so far for his side. 25th over. Another short one, and back foot comes Finch. He's got his 50 as well, putting on some runs in that last over against Bird. He's raced over to 50, 53 now off 75. And comes Nichols again, leg side, big hit, up in the sky, through square leg in the air, but no one even close to it. And on the bounce it goes to the fieldsman, tricking across from deep mid-wicket. Cameron White on strike, two off the over. Forward defending, now a... Good delivery, but well defended from White. Fifth ball of the over. Nichols again, and White this time gets a nice bat on it. Hits it through the gap in mid-wicket. Mid-on comes around and fields the ball, but no, not before. The single is taken to White, who moves into the 18s now. 18 off 27, three off the over. Finch on strike and he's forward defending the last ball and the over comes to a close. Three runs offered. Another good one from Nichols. He is four overs and none for eight now in his spell and he's got to really look forward now and try and tempt the batsman into a mistake. Back for the 27th, Nathan Nichols. Still two down but 104 is up as he's gone through him. In between pad and stump. What a ball from Nichols. Well, White is lucky to be there. This time he hits his man and he goes straight to mid on. Oh, Cameron White is living very much a fairy tale life at the moment. Now he comes in, he sweeps th through again mid wicket. Seems to be the position of taste at the moment for the batsman. And mid on has to come trekking around there quite a lot as it is at the moment. None for nine now, Nichols is sweeping again. That one hits square leg perfectly. And it just dribbles away. And the field's man has to run in from the boundary. And field the ball in. Tasmania are looking a bit out of ideas here. Not much new bowling range has come to them at the moment. It's that one. Oh, nearly hits the man at square leg. Perfectly positioned. And just as I say that, Nichols nearly pulls one out of the top drawer. Last ball of the over. Nichols into White, and White defends. No interest in playing that for any runs. He's happy to go into the next over. Well, that was a top delivery from Nichols. The shorter ball that did move a bit more than White expected. Look for the sweep. The sweep hit it very high on the top edge. Well, Nathan Nichols has gone for a bit of an eight over rest here. Now he returns, still only two down, 138 on the board. Oh, a good shot, and beautifully played through mid on. No fields win there, they'll turn for two. Here comes the runs, and there is easy, two comfortable hits there for the batting side, the Bush Rangers. Wow, three very wide looking slips here, almost short points kind of thing. There's another sweet shot from the bowling of Nichols, goes away from Finch and running around as mid wicket to. Pulls it in. Round through square leg. Well, it makes me wonder what this plan here is. Now they've changed their mind. Put one man a bit wider as Nichols gets yeah, his line hard. a bit better. Sliding it away from this batsman. Looking to put it into the pocket of those oh. two men out there. That's a good ball. That's the line he needs to hit. And that looked a bit interesting. Nichols again. He's hitting his lines now beautifully. Forward defending and edging. 
and on the bounce to go through the second slip. Ooh, that was very good bowling from Nichols. He's looking all right now. He's again defending his white. And no run off that ball. Well, he come good after two, did Nichols. And he's almost put an absolute glean on that ball through the second slip. Full short for now, but he will be back. Looking better already in the second spell. 145 for two. Beginning of the 38th over. One slip and a short leg in position. And it's a big booming drive. Gets no look at the ball at all. Clean miss from White. Through to the keeper it goes. Padding away is White. The next one, which is White outside off Stum. Nichols, none for 13 at the moment. White on 37. Finch on 83 is a weak defensive shot from Cameron White. Just finds his way, dribbling back down the pitch. Shorter one. It's gone. He's got him. Yes. Finally, he takes a breakthrough. And it was that wide delivery that got the wicket for Nathan Nichols. That's what he's been looking for for the last few overs now. And those wide fieldsmen out the slip region got the desired result. Payne takes the catch. Nichols the delivery. But this was a long working effect here. Beautiful delivery. Looping ball. Bounced up. Got the edge. One-handed catch. No worries. Right in front of slip. And that is in the bag. Nichols has his first, and he has dismissed Cameron White yet again, bringing out Glenn Maxwell, the new batsman to the crease for Victoria. 145 for three. And straight into it is Maxwell. First ball he will face, and full face of the bat. Oh, yes, nice Defensive. Straight off the whistle. Nichols in again. Last ball of this over. Again, it's a wide one. Looking and searching for that outside edge as the over comes to a close. Defending once again is Maxwell. And that is a good over from Nichols. That's what he does. That's what we know him for. And that is what he has consistently done for Tasmania this season. Look at all those balls. All wide and all really pressuring between shot or leave. About to begin, over number 40, and we are four down now as well. So another wicket goes to Jackson Bird. Oh! Nichols with that line just outside off stump is absolutely terrorizing these batsmen. It is Finch that has gone as well. Big wicket, oh! And Maxwell was absolutely flailing at everything at the moment. This looks like a matter of time before one is going to hit his stumps. Nichols again this time hits batting straight down the ground to mid on. Wow, what a first three deliveries we've seen here from Nichols. Right there. Maxwell again squeezes that full of ball. Out to the offside, no run taken. Well, this has just got interesting here. Four for 150 now. Right on. As Maxwell shuffles across to the next delivery and gets run behind it. Defends back down the pitch. Maxwell. One off eight. He's struggling along here as he gets some bat on that one, but it's it straight. Tim it off. No run again. Made an over. Straight through it against Maxwell. Good bowling from Nichols. Well, we've seen a variety of deliveries here from Nathan Nichols. That last one there was very slow, but again, consistently keeping with that line just outside off stump. Four for 155 is the score. Nichols coming into bowl the 42nd and sweeping. Straight to the fieldsman. Oh, that's well placed. Very well placed fielding there. And no run again for Maxwell. Who was having a horrid time out there. One off 10. He can't get Nichols away. Again, he drives and it's hit straight to the fieldsman. Picking them out like lollies at the candy bar. Nichols taking his time. Mind games are plenty here against Maxwell. This one's very, very loopy in the air. Lobbed it up to Nichols, opting and inviting Maxwell into a big booming shot. Didn't get the bait. That one's got him completely. The looping delivery is in. Straight through to Tim Payne. And Nichols has number two. He's got Maxwell that looked likely for quite some time. As soon as he comes to the pitch, he could not handle the guile of Nathan Nichols. This was beautiful. 
looped it up again, got that edge as it was going through, bottom corner of the bat, and a very good catch from Tim Payne. Sees the end of Glenn Maxwell, a very accomplished batsman, to the pavilion for just one. Replacing him will be Daniel Christian for the Bush Rangers. And again, look at this instantly. The tactic is to attack. They've got those three wide slips. As a nice drive comes in, a chance for the wicket. This hits it gone. That is gone. That is a run out. He's out of here. Surely, yes. Wow, big play from the fielding side. And Dunk has got the magic. Christian is gone. First ball duck off the bowling of Nichols. This was exquisite. Watch this. Oh, underarm through the hands. Oh, that is beautiful. Middle stump, goodbye. Christian is gone. Bang. Oh, that is sensational fielding. The umpire didn't even go to the side. He knew it was gone. Massive dive from Christian as well. But that is out of here. If Nichols had to take that in, he would have been safe. But the direct hit from Dunk is the magic ball. Hastings coming in next. And the wheels falling off his innings for the Bush Rangers. Wade on strike. Oh, ho, ho. And a big swish and a miss there from Wade to end the over. What a spectacular one it was for Nathan Nichols and the Tasmanian side. What a beautiful over. A run out in a wicket. Just what they needed. Well, six for 156. It's what the score is now. But what it was a few overs ago is something quite different as Nichols nearly towers another one. Hastings is looking at C at the moment. In comes Nichols again. This time he hits the bat and they can't chance another run out. Well, Wade says no. And why not as well? They're fielding down there has been sublime 44th over they've lost a lot of wickets very quickly there's a good sweep shot from Hastings gets away from everyone might go all the way to the fence the chase is on will it hold up yes it does hold up and they'll take a couple here if not more how many did they take that's the question is that three on the board it is three on the board so Wade is in at the batting crease now and he's forward defending bat and pad tight and right in line of the ball. He's on nine, and he is the real last chance here for the Bush Rangers. He needs to bat along innings. He needs to get them over 200, is the real ask for Wade. And he comes again, Nichols, and oh, look at that one, just fly. Beautiful gile from the leg spinner, straight into the pants, that one went. A nice delivery. See it here coming in late. Very well bowled from Nichols. He is looking very good now in his second spell. So a couple of overs off for Nathan Nichols. Has seen the score progress through to 166 for six. He has one for 33 off his 10 overs. He's about to commence at number 11 as his first ball is defended back down the pitch. No run taken. Wade's there on 12. Hastings is still there on eight. As a well-placed ball. Very good delivery from Nichols. Goes straight through to Payne. Forcing the batsman to play wide outside off stump. Oh, he's fetched that from very wide outside off stump. They'll look for the two. Here they come and they'll get them easily as well. As the throw comes in from the fieldsman. And an easy couple take. And the big man Hastings has trotted through quite nicely. Wade is on 14 now. And he's still hard at work. His very full face of the bat there. Against that fourth ball from Nichols. No chance of that going through. And again is Nichols to Wade. And that one's right on the top of middle. And he pushes it back down the pitch again. Last ball of the 47th over. And he pads it away. Does Wade. Says that's enough for me. Let's see what the next bowler's got to deliver. He's not keen on this Nichols fellow. And he's quite often got out to a silly shot to the bowling of Nathan Nichols in previous encounters between these two sides.